Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the cantilever jib crane is used to support the load of 700 and 780 pounds. If x equals 5 feet, determine the reactions at the supports. Note that the supports are colors that allow the crane to rotate freely about the vertical axis. That the B supports a force in the vertical direction, but A does not. So what does this mean? First, um, let's draw the free body diagram. And you know that at B, we have um, a, a vertical reaction. And it's most likely going up because this is pulling the thing down. Now, if you think about it, if you have a vertical reaction at B, like I just drew it, let's call this F of B of Y. And we have um, a weight pulling down on the crane right here. You know that the whole unit is going to be trying to turn clockwise. So there's going to be a reaction at B. Oops. Can I? Sorry about that, guys. There's going to be a reaction at B that is going to want to prevent it from turning clockwise. And it's going to be going in the left direction. So F of B of X. And if there's a reaction of on F of B going to the left, there's most likely a reaction on F of A going to the right. We're going to call it F of A. And they say that A does not have a vertical reaction. So this is our free body diagram. So look at the variables that we have. We're trying to find f of b of x, f of b of y, and f of a. So we can, right off the bat, eliminate the first two by doing the moments around b. So let's do just that. Assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum all the moments at b is equal to 0 and is equal to. I'm going to call um, this 780W for the weight of whatever this thing is holding. So the weight times the distance x, which is 5 feet. Oh, let's actually put x here and then replace it after. And it's trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative. And then we have f of a, which is um, the horizontal reaction at a. Let's call it f of a times the distance from b to a, which is 4 feet. And it's actually trying to turn it counterclockwise to make up for the weight. So we have the weight, we have x, and we're trying to find f of a. Let's find it. f of a is equal to w times x over 4, right? w times x over 4, yeah. So we plug the numbers in, and we should get that this is equal to 975 pounds, again. The weight is 780, x is 5 feet, given by the problem, and 4 is the distance from B to A. So we have the reaction at A. Now let's do some of the moments in the x, because we only have um, f of B of x and f of A in the x direction, so this should make it pretty easy. Minus f of B of x, because it's going to the left, plus f of A. So that means that f of a is equal to f of b of x, and f of b of x is equal to 975 pounds, which is what we just found. And last but not least, and you could already like see it in the diagram and figure it out right away, but let's do the whole equation as to y. Sum of the forces in the y is equal to 0, and we only got two forces, f of b of y going up and the weight going down. So you know that f of b of y is equal to the weight and the weight is 780 pounds. So final answer for the horizontal reaction at A because there's no vertical reaction at A. For the horizontal reaction at B is 975 and final answer for the vertical reaction at B which is 780 pounds.